Hey fellas, we're back with another small video, short video, uh, on the South Bend 13 today. So, um, I wanted to mess around with my dials and uh, I bought another 13 inch lathe a while back and um, you know, it's, it's, a, it's not a lathe I'm keeping because I have too many lathes, but I have to say it had a, a nicer um, I guess a compound than this one did. The compound was a little chewed up. Um, I guess, you know, someone ran it into the, uh, the chuck a few times. God only knows, you know, these things are pretty old and who knows who had them before. So long story short, uh, I just, all I wanted to do really was to pull the compound off of, uh, this lathe and swap it with the other one. And then I got all involved with, uh, with the hand wheels and uh, with the direct reading and the indirect reading uh, uh, graduated wheels on the machine and it, it turned into a whole quite a fiasco um, so long story short uh, I pulled everything apart I pulled everything out of the uh, the lathe and uh, unbeknownst to me I didn't know how everything worked and I, I really have to recommend if you are working on a lathe I would recommend taking the whole thing apart and putting it all back together because there's stuff in here that you just you're not aware of uh, when you're just you know turning wheels and cutting parts it's not not apparent what goes into these machines I mean these machines are quite fantastic um, but certain things you know oilers are covered up you, you don't know they're there there's uh, there's some little tiny screws here that that could be you know turned in too far and could run into things there's an oiler here usually that's covered up with junk um, two apron oilers well actually this is not an apron oiler. apron oiler here and here and uh, I have to uh, let my buddy John Strange know that I had two good apron oilers in there. They were a little beat up, but they still seemed to function. And he decided, well, his uh, his 13 was missing the apron oilers. So he went ahead and, and made uh, little plugs, I guess, out of steel or aluminum. And he was plugging those in. And uh, John, um, if you're watching the video, just uh, to let you know, I have located new apron oilers and I ordered a bunch of them and you send me your uh, mailing address and I'm going to ship you two. So uh, rather than you know rather than to mess around uh, you know I, I like the idea of <coughs> excuse me possibly putting plugs in there but uh, I'm just afraid dirt's going to fall in and these little these little boil, boil oilers uh, I saw new ones and, and they they're not going to you're not going to get any dirt in there if you're careful so I decided rather than make a couple of brass uh, plugs that I might forget to put back in or I don't clean well enough before I take off I'm just gonna go ahead and, and uh, replace them with the factory oilers now uh, speaking about the factory oilers what I like about them versus uh, you know making a set of plugs is they're there they'll be flush with the machine They'll be very simple to kind of wipe off because they're flush, so dirt shouldn't fall in, and they're pretty easy to install. Now, I mean, you know, projects are projects, and I have about 10,000 projects right now, but uh, long come to short, I am going to want to take this lathe apart at some point and, uh, you know, try to clean it f totally and repaint it. You know, I, I want to do that. So uh, I ordered spares for myself as well because you, you really can't remove these without destroying them. And that's what happened here. I destroyed them taking them out. And let me tell you another thing. Um, let me add to this. When I took this, uh, I guess the uh, carriage top off, you cannot even begin to consider how much dirt and chips and crap was in there. And even in these oilers, there was dirt and cra all kinds of junk in here, and I it took me a good hour just to flush these out and clean them, you know, lugging the whole carriage around with me, and I thought that was stupid. So 
Uh, thanks to you, John. I it spiked my interest. I located a source and I found the uh, the Oilers. Additionally, um, whoever had the lathe before me, uh, here you go again with with some uh, good old hammer chisel mechanics stuff. They went ahead and uh, butchered up the Getz Oilers. So uh, I'm going to try to straighten those and press on some new ones. And if not, I'm going to be ordering some new tubing and bend it and whatever I need to do. Because this, this is a whole other situation. Uh, these, these oilers, they traverse inside and they, they, they uh, run into wells and then there's wicks in the wells. And it, or, it, you know, it lubricates this whole, this whole apron. It's, it's, it's fairly cool how it works. So, like I said, I recommend you guys take all this apart. You're going to learn more about your machine. And uh, at, the, at the end of the day, you're going to be very um, happy with that, with the situation, uh, as far as knowing what's going on and why it's going on. And you'll be able to care for your machine a lot better, and it will last you, you know, because you'll the reasoning behind the way what you have to do to maintain it will be uh, more evident. All right, guys. So uh, that's the uh, end of this discussion as far as um, the South Bend 13. So. In any case, uh, I hope you guys are having fun in your shop. I know I am. It's the weekend before 4th of July. Uh, I like to have an early day on, uh, on Friday and do things that I want to do on my own. So uh, I'm fortunate enough to get out of work a little bit earlier. And I get to come here to my workshop and mess around before I go home for dinner with the family. Uh, so, again, I am just... Uh, you might say, well, I don't know how much progress you're making, but I'm one man. I only have a few hours a week to do this stuff, and uh, I'm doing my best, but I'm having fun. I have, to, I have to admit that I am definitely having fun playing with my machines, and at this point, there's really uh, no place that I would uh, rather be to spend my little free time that I have. And uh, I guess we could pan off here to the left, and you guys can see uh, the Rockwell lathe. And the uh, bridge port in the background. I was able to make my first tool, by the way, on the bridge port. Um, it was the special tool that would take off the uh, the South Bend uh, the end caps for the uh, the levers. And and here it is, right here. So, uh, you know, it was a quick crude tool, but it worked. Okay, guys, have a great weekend, and I will talk to you soon. Take care. Thanks. Bye.